Alright guys, welcome to today's video. Got a new truck. The Lucy LMT Monster Jam. Son of a digger truck. Uh, from what I hear, this is probably the most realistic truck you can get right now. Uh, well, for the monster trucks anyways. So um, I've been kind of having my eye on it. I've been iffy, but uh, you know, I think it was time. I think it was time. The track in the backyard, probably perfect for this thing. Might have to get some... Uh, some uh, old busted RC cars, you know, and put them out there, kind of dig them up, let this thing do some truck crushing. I mean, I have an old broken one, so, you know, might, might have to add that in there. So, let's get this open. Oh, look at that. Nice and pretty. Nice and pretty, guys. All right, so, let's get this out of the box. Look at that thing, it's sweet. So the lights on this work on the front. Uh, it doesn't have any back lights, obviously. And it's got the wheelie bar and the cage. So these arms are metal, uh, or aluminum, I guess you could say, probably. Uh, the chassis is aluminum or steel, I don't know for sure. I have to look into that a little bit. Um, it's running on Spectrum. Uh, the guy at the shop told me it was a 4S, but I believe it's a three. He was kind of in a hurry, so he didn't really have time for questioning. Um, and I usually let those guys do their thing because they've helped me out a lot. So I'm not really too big in a rush when I go there. But yeah, guys, it's sweet. There's the front. Those blue lights should light up. It's got pretty good suspension. These tires are massive. They're pretty sweet. I think these are a lot better than the uh, axial set up um, and then we have this other box here for the uh, tools and whatnot Let's see if I can figure out how to open a box so oh nice so I bought batteries for it uh, I guess I didn't need them comes with some tools looks like some other bracings another battery strap uh, another look like pin yeah, pin towers. So it comes with other towers. Um, and then there's a remote. Maybe Spectrum switching over to these. Ooh, look. Bubble wrap. So this is the same one as the drift truck. The uh, infraction, I think. That's what I have? Yeah. So if you use the smart batteries, it'll tell you what the charge is on there, which is nice. Um, I don't know what this is for. We'll see what this is going to be for on this. Maybe it's for nothing. I don't know. Had to find out, but that's pretty cool. Um, it would be cool if I could bind this truck and the drift truck to one remote, but uh, I don't know if you can do that with these. You might have to look into that too. So that is all that comes in that box there. Um, let's get this open, I guess. So have a look in here. So yeah, it looks like just more posts, holes. Um, those look like axle extensions, or maybe just new ones. Um, yeah, there's some other pieces in there. Um, that's where really it came in. No gears. It came with your manual. Uh, maybe I'll save those batteries for something else because I bought other batteries. So I might as well use some other ones for now. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, let's throw a battery in it and get out there. See what see what this thing's all about. Just to get the body off, there's pin, two pins here, and then two pins on each side, or one pin on each side here. And then, it's kind of like the buggy. It just has a hinge chassis like that. Pretty nice. Pretty simple. Uh, and then you just hook up the light in the cab here. Bam, bam. Then you have the lights. Pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty good how they did this. I like, I like this truck. It looks pretty nice.
guys that's it for this video it started kind of raining so there it is i mean this thing is tough i mean it's a great truck great looking truck it rides good performs good i mean it's like it's literally like everybody says it's literally drives like a real monster truck i mean i don't know what that feels like <laughs> um but in my opinion uh it i mean it looks just like they drive it almost i mean it just doesn't make five or six thousand horsepower but, uh, I mean, for what it is, it is pretty sweet. It's definitely worth it. Would I buy it again? 100%. 100% would buy it again. Who knows? Might have to buy the normal Grave Digger, not the son of the Grave Digger. Um, they just didn't have it there at the time. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it took a couple beatings in the front. It still looks good. I got a little mark there, but no big deal. Everything's running good and everything. So, that's it for this one, guys. Um like subscribe we'll see you on the next one